Bananas are prioritised bananas so we can start making cakes. Do they actually have any food they can give us? Anything else, just whatever you can get. We intercept waste food and we turn that into healthy meals and then we feed people on a page feel concept. We intercepted 50 avocados before they got thrown away and they were in polythene wrappers, in plastic containers never even touched the outside world since they've been picked. So that's the thing that I have an issue with, like the amount of money and logistics and transportation that's gone into getting them avocados from its original source to this supermarket to then just be disposed of because of a display by date. Oh, it's just nonsense. We intercept food from well-established restaurants, supermarkets, households, etc. Today we're going to a couple of restaurants in Leeds. This food is either surplus or become waste to the people that own it. Instead of it making it to landfill, we're going to intercept it. Has the food still perfectly edible and fit for consumption? So it's like 60 litres of... You can see the colour of it. There's nothing wrong with it. I think the maximum we've ever had is about 50 kilos of food um, from like one big trip from a couple of restaurants. Um, but you can have sometimes just scraps of food. Obviously the larger the better in terms of the people that we can feed, but from uh, the social responsibility side of things, we want to see less food. All right, take care. I will see you very soon. <laughs> Gluten-free bread as well. We had a guy came in and he had three kids and he'd not fed his kids for nearly 10 days properly. I'd been living off a couple of loaves of bread in 10 days. He nearly brought me to tears. My heart sunk and he's like, what am I supposed to say to this guy? Like, you need this more than we need it. He's just sat here in my kitchen, you take it home to your family and you feed your children with it at the end of the day. That's the absurdity of what we're dealing with. As you can see, there is so much food waste. This is nothing, we're not even scraping the top of the iceberg yet. And yet, for some reason, people think it's okay to throw it away and yet not deal with the actual problems at hand. We are going to clean this area up today so that we can lay out some veg boxes so that the community's got free access to edible food whilst they're walking past. So it's a kind of urban guerrilla gardening. Hi mate. Joshua is eight weeks old uh, yesterday. Uh, he's mine and Johanna's son. He's the hair to the front. He's already been in the cafe with me. He's been in the garden with me. Obviously he's been doing the recycling with us. Everywhere I go, he kind of comes with us. I don't want my son to be growing up in a society that He's wasteful, he's not conscious of food, where food comes from. Four or five years ago, I was living on drugs to get me through my shifts as a chef. Literally, I was, we was taking drugs to get us through the night and get us through the day, surviving on nothing but speed. Yeah, I don't really know what changed. Going to Australia definitely changed my life. Um, it made me realise that the world's a lot bigger. And I guess just being around sunshine 24-7 over there on the beach, you just get a lot of time to kind of reflect and look over what you've done in your life. And it just felt like I needed to do something right. And I only knew about cooking. So I needed to do something around food. And then when I started working on farms and seeing the extent of waste, it all just seemed to fit into place. One of the guys that worked on a farm, he just sat me down one day and I asked him if I could have some of his contacts. And he said to me, you can't change the world unless you change your hometown first. And it just made, I just sat for maybe a day on this hillside thinking about what he'd said and realizing that 
it's okay me going around the world and changing the world, but I kind of run away from my life here. So that's mainly the reason why I did it here. Through providing people with food, we can, if not solve, but we can certainly manage a lot of problems in this world. We just need as many people, I guess, to know about what we're doing and what we, what we are capable of doing.